You've heard the idea that no two snowflakes are the same, right? Well, storm chaser Jason Persoff is putting that to the test as he creates incredible up-close photographs of individual flakes that fall in his Denver home. The idea of photographing something that I had actually grown to dislike, which was snow, uh, really appealed to me and has since transformed winter into one of my favorite seasons. To capture the snowflakes for shooting, he uses some surprising tools. Basically, I use this black wool sock and I hold it vertically and I allow the snowflakes to land on this. And that actually ends up separating them out usually to ones or twos. And because of that, I'm able to actually look at each individual snowflake at a time. To get the shots, he's essentially turned his camera into a microscope and uses a special light to illuminate the crystals. There's a ring flash here at the end, which lights up, up when I shoot a snowflake photo. And that leads to this incredible three-dimensional structure that is really staggering to look at. Jason is getting plenty of attention for his snowflake shots, and he now even has a gallery show in Denver. It's important for people to know I love taking these photos for me, but I also love sharing them with other people. But this is the first opportunity I've ever had to display any of my photo work. However, it's not every snowfall that will give you the perfect crystals to shoot. You really need to have very good weather conditions, not too much humidity and very cold weather. The more time the, the snowflake has to travel down on through ideal conditions of crystallization, the better the stellar dendrites. And so we're, we're in a pretty spectacular spot here in Colorado where stellar dendrites are very common. So the next time you're shoveling trillions of snowflakes out of your driveway, remember, each one is beautiful and unique.